Hi, I'm Brian English, uh, Wapler Forum name Hyperbytes. And in this module, we're just going to be doing a basic tidy up of the registration authorization pages that we've been using on that module, just to make them look a little more professional. This course is not a design course, this is a, a technical course. So don't expect uh, uh, amazingly wonderful effects, but I think it's important that you will at least learn the basics of being able to create pad padding and margins and things like that. So we're going to start. We have a container up here, and I just want to bring that down the screen a little bit so we can go into the margins there, and let's just pop it down five units. We've got the registration form here. See, as you, you'll see as you click on these different areas, then the appropriate element is highlighted on the screen. You'll also see these, we'll be dealing with these later. These are the sizing bars, which allow you to change the size of columns. But for the moment, all I want to do is I want to add a little bit of a background texture to that, just so the form stands out a little bit. You can see here that register button is butted right up against the bottom of the um, form. So we just want to add a, a little bit of padding in there. And that should just give a bit of space around the button. If we want to, we can also perhaps put a border around that form. We can do that quite easily. If we come down here, we can see we've got a border section. And I'm going to say all. Let's have it with rounded edges, um, medium radius. I uh, will just put a green border around it, I think. And you can change the border width with this slider here, should you want. So let's just leave that border at 2. And that's... Just purely so we can see the form standing out a little better on the page. We will, of course, be adding a menu above that very soon. So let's just save that page. And then we're going to our validate account. And we'll do a very similar thing. Uh, I'm just going to add again a little bit of a top margin in there. Um, let's pick that column again that's containing all of the form. And I would like to just give that a bit of background again. We see now that that form is butted right up against the top of the f uh, container. We don't want that, so we can add a bit of padding. So remember, padding is inside the box. Margin is outside the box. We're okay here with the Submit button now because there is a column here. Um, but just to be safe, I'm just going to add... A little bit of padding in there anyway because um, if this column later we decide had to collapse in some way and we'll also just change the message there to say validate rather than submit so that screen now is showing them showing the form where well, they're being told they've got a validate account they've been told that the accounts will be removed after she was i did say two days didn't I? so we'll give them 48 hours to validate it before we move them and again if we want to we can just give that form itself a bit of a border so we go again we're going to border all rounded all radius medium border color we'll do green again and we'll make it a two two pixel wide border as well let's save that and that's just tidied things up a little bit. We perhaps might want to do something similar up here with that row or this row just to make it stand out a little better. Um, but I'm quite sure you're capable of doing that yourselves. So I'm not going to show you how to just add a bit of padding and uh, margins in unnecessarily. So there we are. We've had our cleanup. Um, we're just now, sorry, hit the wrong button there. We can come back into our index page. Um, similarly, container if I want while we're busy, because I know I'll be doing that later. I'll be just giving it a little bit of a, a top margin there as well. Having done that, I think now we need to look at um, 
adding a menu because at some stage we're going to be able to have to add um, login options, log out options. What happens if the person registers, closes their browser, comes back the following day, wants to authorize their account, they're going to need to be able to do that as part of the login process. And once we start with these complexities, we need to be able to have a menu to manage them. So in the next module, we'll be looking at um, menus. But I think before we go any further, I'm also going to introduce you to uh, Git. And we're just going to use a, a local Git repository to store our uh, versions of the site. So if ever we need to roll back, we can do that. And I'll be honest, that's more for my benefit in this development of the course than for you. But it's a really handy feature to have and something that you can use yourselves um, in the future. So if you really get things horribly wrong, you can just wind back to the last version. So I uh, hope you'll join me in the next uh, module, which will be about um, a local Git repository.